Hey guys, welcome back to another Sudi of Arman, the first co-op campaign playthrough with Debbie. I just thought that I'd do these little intros just so people have an idea of what's going on. We did Usurpation in the last video, and next we're going to be doing Quelling the Rebellion, which, uh, as it happens, is quite difficult. So uh, let's see how that unfolds, shall we? Okay! Ooh. Ooh. The rebel scum threaten us from three directions. Strike them down quickly before they can pull their and yes, attack us. So. Um, so would you like to enlighten me as to what accent that was supposed to be? I have no idea. <laughs> it was like kind of Russian, I guess. The rebel scum threaten us from all sides. Strike them down before they surround us. Exactly. Alrighty, so... Okay, yeah, normally you have 200 pop limit. Yeah. But now we have 125 because we're in co-op. And in the regular version of the campaign, you start with, like, both of our bases, essentially. Like, they're built up a little bit more. Um, because we're splitting them. But it's like, you know, you control all of it. So this should be a bit more difficult. This time I actually found nice war buffaloes. They make sweet noises. What sound does the water buffalo make? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I know. I really trained that just for today. Glad to hear. It seems like you start with way less than me, though. Well, just number two, you know. Yeah, you know. I will never be number one like you. It's okay. Oh. I'll never be as good as Viper. <laughs> I don't even find an enemy yet. Let's see, I'm gonna scout towards south. Yeah, so the gimmick... Uh, there's like a small enemy camp right there. So okay. the gimmick in this scenario is that each town will have a tower or a castle in it. And uh, as you can just see like right here, I destroyed the watchtower and then I get control of all the buildings. So you want to snipe the, uh, you know, the main defensive structure in the middle of the town. Yeah. Oh, you weren't even given a dock. Wow, you really did get oh. the short end of the stick. <laughs> I don't even have a dog. That's okay. I found a lot of... Uh... Yeah, sounds <laughs> I just, I just imagine you like in the room where you have just nothing to do, sitting in front of a mirror and just training these animal noises. Well, you know, you gotta find something to set yourself apart from others, right? You have to find a way to, to rise above the rabble. I haven't found anyone yet. Oh yeah, you went to the other side of the mountains. Oh wow, is that your... Wow, you really didn't get like anything, man. Like, I got a bunch of elephants, and I've already like taken out one guy. Okay, you carry anyway. Oh, I found them, I found them. Oops, oops. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> get out the hill, get out the hill. Need to find a gold mine somewhere. Oh, wait, here it is. Yeah, sounds so. I might have lost my entire army because I ran in. <laughs> well, you know, you were saying that you uh, couldn't find the enemy, and uh, you found them. So yeah, mission accomplished. I found it. Yep. That's correct. Like I already have like seven fishing ships. Because we're in. Because, uh, yeah, I have a, I have a dock right here. 
in the Mekong River. Just gonna wall myself off since I don't have any army. Sounds good. And I, I don't know how strong they're gonna be like. I mean, all I have to go off is the uh, the regular version, which, I mean, they, they throw a decent amount of stuff at you, but, like, I would already be attacked if I was playing the single-player version, or anyone else was. Oh! <laughs> Nothing happened. Good to hear. I totally didn't click on a, a water buffalo in order to get the rhino. I was wondering why I cannot shoot on the rhino. <laughs> Look at you walling out that relic. Oh, I didn't even see that one. You know, your, your people are, are too good for uh, religion, right? I'm not going to generate that uh, tithe income. Oh, shit. I'm so busy walling. Oh, why is an orange elephant at my base? It's a scouting elephant. Orange trains elephants. Lots of elephants. All right, now what's the name of purple? You're German. You're used to long words. Uh, ya 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 it's actually, like, it's a hard J sound, so it's Jayavira Varman, but that's still really close. Ah, okay. Well, in German we say ja, like we don't say ja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. ja. You know, Rasta. So does German just not use the letter Y? No, like, um, I think the only, like, you have, like, Latin words, like, medicine terms or something, where you mm -hmm. use the Y. But, um... Oh, shit, shit, shit. I forgot that I was luring the rhino. Is there a sad villager corpse somewhere near your base? No, 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 he's, he's walking back to the TC. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, safe, safe, safe. All good, all good. Um, we have like medicine terms where you use the Y, but it's like, and it's not German, right? It's Latin words. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, loan besides words. That, besides that, I only know one German word that's uh, xylophone, where you use the Y in, like, in, in, within the word. It's mm -hmm. like an instrument. I don't know. Xylophone? Xylo it's called xylophone. Yeah, yeah. In, in English, it's xylophone. Yeah, it's. Which, yes. which is probably also a loan word. Yeah. Oh, really? I, I... need to know. Um, is it the instrument where you... Um... Oh, my trade cart. <laughs> you have little fuzzy mallets and you bang on... Uh, metal keys. How can I not... Cl oh, I am already Castle Age. Now I'm confused. It's so, if you look at the top center of your screen... Just to the left of center, you'll see the age you're in, and you even get a nice little shield. I see what? <laughs> Just in the UI. Oh, but like, I didn't even know that. So here we automatically kicked up to Castle Age? We just start in Castle Age. Oh, so this is not you who start. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, Debbie. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm gonna make tables now. I wasn't making army because I thought, oh shit, okay, now I have to wait until Castle Age when my army died. Feel... I'm just making it more interesting for everyone. Okay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do not have a university. No, don't chop trees. Mine gold. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, I forgot Orange has a base right to the east of me. Whoa, stop it. I'm feeling so bad because I haven't helped you at all. No, it's like... You shouldn't... You, you can't be expected to help me when you start with, like, nothing. <laughs> I should really give some feedback, like... Sure, you can make the, the players start with, like, different loadouts. Not loadouts, but base layouts or whatever. But having, like, one person start with, like, okay, they get a dock, they get a castle, military buildings. Maybe they have to do it because it was easier for them to uh, balance if they gave both what you had might have been too easy. Maybe it was the, um... Because, like I said, this is a slightly modified version of what you normally start with. What? I hear a monk. Uh-oh. Monk us. Die! Die! Not my elephant. Such a bad person. What I find really uh, confusing is that you always start off with like yep. super different advanced in technology, you know what I mean? Like you start in different ages and stuff like that? No, like I, uh, like the game before, I had no upgrades whatsoever, no eco, no blacksmith upgrades here. I started with a few eco upgrades, I started with blacksmith up oh. upgrades. Yeah. Oh god, I'm getting my base attacked by orange. Um, that's actually a, a simple one. It's just a matter of... You start with all of the upgrades from the age before. So, like, a castle age start gives you castle age itself and then every feudal age upgrade. Starting in feudal age just gives you loom. Starting in imperial age gives you all the castle age upgrades. Okay. Okay. And then it works like that in multiplayer, too. Like, if you set the game starting age to castle age or whatever. But, like, in feudal age, I have to do the feudal age upgrades myself. Yeah, yeah. So you only get the upgrades from the age before you. So, like, if you start in feudal age, you only get dark age upgrades. Okay, now I'm definitely getting attacked by quite a few units. I wanted to attack yellow, but... Yes, pikes, and I have nothing to do. Dang. Uh, maybe I'm gonna add some scorpions against those pikes, actually. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I'm gonna do the same. Right? They don't have to drop off. I don't need a mill around. Nope. Ooh. I haven't played Primer for a second. Ha! Getting your monks too close to the town center. Okay, now they're definitely going at me pretty hard. Oh, God. My scorpions just came out sometime. Come on. Sniping monks with my TC. So I was casting a game of Black Forest yesterday, 
and in the tiny little pond, the, uh, there was a Malay player, and in the tiny pond, I think he made 29 fish traps. <laughs> like, the entire pond was just fish traps. Have 2,150 food on them. It's insane. Not if you have Mongols with Drill. There you go. So yeah, just push towards yellow. Yeah, right now I have to get like 5,000 pikes. <laughs> Where is stone? stone? Yeah, I'm not finding much stone on this map. I just found one spot so far. Yeah, me too. But that was only like two tiles or something. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, it looks like this game is going to be for some Debbie carry. Uh, I don't think so. I don't hope so. <laughs> you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. It's time to make some ballista elephants. That's not a good sign. Oh, gold is a lot on the map, though. Okay, that worked. Only lost one elephant. In case you didn't know, scorpions get bonus damage against elephants for reasons. Oh, hey, I found a little more stone. Oh, dang. There you go. Scorpions are fun. To be honest, the other day I lost to, uh, I was in 1v1 arena, and I lost to, like, a 1330 Ooh, castle I got age that time. Spot. Sorry, I just got the spot here. What spot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I took the spot. Yeah, 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 I just destroyed the tower. Or castle. Nice. Uh, sorry, yeah, continue. Oh, yeah, um, I, I lost to, it was, like, a 1330 castle age time, mass scorpions. <laughs> like, just double Siege Workshop forward scorpions. Have you 
Scorpion is an Imperial gun. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're slowly getting places. I think. I hope. Oh my god. Oh hey, some more gold. Oh my Oh my goodness, I needed that. There's also gold spots here on my side. Oh, yeah, I see a little bit. Alright, we're slowly getting above 90 pop. <laughs> I'm on 117 pop. Well, lucky you. Oh, well, rip those gold miners. Hopefully this can mean I can mine a bit more gold. I don't really want to go for pikemen though, because they're making like a lot of scorpions and ballista elephants and stuff. Mm, should I stay scorpions? Oh yeah, you just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Because I, I'm using pikemen right now. But that's because I cannot get enough army so fast. Since my elephants are so slow. I sent some villages down here now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that fight here. Yeah. Okay, how's this going? Dang, this is like such a gigantic step up in difficulty. 
I took a really good fight, but then we have boats. Like ships, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And they did so much damage. Ships are good. Let's see if I can snag this village here from Orange. That oh, way. should I do... Should I research Task Swords? Uh, yeah. It's plus three attack for your elephants. Good to know! Because remember, if you, um, if you take their towers and, you know, you get to control of their buildings, then they don't have production, so then they can't make any more units. I took out a lot of towers. But uh, it didn't change anything. Or like the, the the central tower thing. Yeah, I have to see where that was. Right now I have to build up my army again. Well, I got one of Orange's villages just now. Out of gold. Uh, what is the pop cap? 125, right? Yes. Ooh, I think I will have to kill some villagers. In order to have enough pop space for... Army! Yeah, with Chimera you probably could use like a little bit more, but normally for the 125 pop limit scenarios, I usually go with around like 65 to 70 vills. Yeah, I have a hundred villagers right now. Lol. Okay, now I'm getting pop cap for the first time in like ever. Feels good, man. Okay, now I can start deleting some bills. some sort of self-repair mechanism because they don't have any villagers but I damaged their castle earlier and now it's full HP again. Cheaters. And I got enough stone in order to place a TC here. Yes. Gold, sweet gold. <laughs> Gotta mention that IRL. Uh, okay, now visit scenic see. North Korea. Gimme, gimme. Noise. We even get the towers, too. Oh, boy. No, 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 no,
Scorpion's doing? Why did you guys get in there? No, 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 no. Alright, I should be uh, able to get red out with this last attack. Hopefully. Oh my god, I hate these monks. <laughs> Yeah, each uh, enemy, the Northern, Eastern, and Southern Rebels, or Diavira of Avermont's army is the Southern Rebels. Uh, oh, they do have villagers. What? What? Yeah, my guy also has villagers. Oh, but this guy, more importantly, this guy has some gold nearby. All right, uh, I should have defeated Red. I am still on yellow. <laughs> well, yellow's the strongest enemy. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, here's the castle. That's where Jayavira Varman hangs out. Yeah, you're gonna want rams for that for sure. See, you can see him right here. He's the hero Karambit warrior. Okay, I need rams. An army of rams? How quaint. Okay, uh, yellow also has purple in his base. Yeah, purple, kind of like yellow in the last scenario, is just kind of a dummy AI. It's a few Imperial Age units that's like the, you know, the guard oh, okay. of Jaya of Arman. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh my goodness, I have so much gold income right now, I'm so happy. Wait a minute. Debbie. Yep. Yeah. This is a team game, technically. Oh, we could trade. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. I'm gonna build some markets in the north. I'm gonna build here? Yep. Something tells me that uh, I should have thought of that sooner. And yeah, we can make trade cards. Oh, wait, can we not sling? Oh no, we already have banking research, so we can sling uh, as many resources as we want with no tax. It's like NAFTA. Bills. All right, I took the second of uh, Orange's bases. Oh, 
idols are dead. Okay, why am I not getting more rum? I can sell so much food. Where's your market? Yeah, good. <laughs> Thank you, villagers, for your hard work on building that market. Time to die. <laughs> You're so mean. I mean, it kind of sounds the American way, doesn't it? Yeah. Ruthless. Anyway, I'll be helping you out a little bit. Um, I'm going to take down the tower that is guarding one of Jayavira Varman's bases. Yeah, I have my rum train ready now. I'm going to go in here. Good, good. I'm taking down the tower and that will stop all units coming from the east from him. I only have two castles here. The towers I already took that were there. No gold in this village. Freaking elephants always taken. That's so freaking annoying. Oh, the monks? Yeah, yeah. And the monks always run away when I come with my scorpions in order to shoot them. AI micro man. Hello, can you find me? Cart do trade. How much gold are we getting per trip? Sure. 93, not bad. I have no gold anymore. Oh, Debbie. Those... Gold man. Those... Oh, nice. Uh, those rums, I'm losing them now. Oh, nice, nice, nice. You're almost there. Oh, man, these monks. And he's jumping into the castle all the time, too. Now I'm gonna get him. <laughs> the real hero enemy unit. It's not Jayavir Varman, it's just the monk. Like, seriously, it took... Oh, nice, I got it at least. The effort was worth it. All right, we're almost there. I just got orange. We will fight you no more. Good to hear. Oh, get him! Get him! Oh, he's on 19 HP! No! He escaped! Oh! Harbors! Oh, yeah, they buffed up uh, uh, Jayavira Varman. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, no no wonder you're struggling against all those ships. Normally, he only has two docks, and they're just docks. Now, they're harbors, and he has four of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I thought you knew that. That's what I said earlier, like, he has ships, and they're shooting and such. Yeah, so yeah, like, all my army they, they normally have ships, but they only come from two docks instead of four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I even took out two towers there. Next to the ships, I mean. Mm hmm. Oh, 
I wonder if these guys don't actually have infinite resources. Like, their scores aren't gigantic. So I got one castle. At least something. Is something. I got my ram train coming, my elephant parade. I try my best. No, you're doing just fine. Do not worry. Unless you're Jayavir Varman, whose death is also going to be blocked by the hulking mass of elephant. I'm taking this church down now. It is a monastery, Debbie. No, it's church. It's all a church for me. Yeah, now we are here. Now he has no monks anymore. Of course. Like when I tried to take him <laughs> down, he had like five monks there from purple. No, no. You're doing great. Essentially, like, so long as you, uh, you don't die <laughs> and are, you know, able to make some headway, like, that's, uh, that's all I need. many trade cards I have. Uh, one way is uh, in the bottom right hand corner, you know how you there's like a little like sun set thing? If yeah. you click on it, you'll get an axe and that will show you your military them. units. And if you click on it again, you'll get a pile of gold and that will show you all of your uh, economic stuff. And in there, there are trade units. And that's how many trade cards you have. Oh, okay. 21. How many do you have? 16. Oh, so not too bad then. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. His force is broken. The south will oppose us no more. Let's try the main fortification in each enemy town. Yeah, that was like the castles and the towers and stuff. Oh, why is that not take? Oh, no, it is. We did it. Ooh, okay. That was uh, interesting. It was even a little more complicated. Oh, uh, okay, Miss Modest Debbie. Look at that KD. 452 kills to 167 deaths. Come on, man. No, oh, not too bad, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, you're just freaking clapping them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he sent all his units into my scorpion, so. That'll do it. And that was Quelling the Rebellion co op campaign playthrough. That actually turned out to be quite difficult. So let's just uh, show you guys why exactly we were struggling for resources so much. So you can see that your normal start, you know, this was Debbie's village and it's not really much. And this is what I got minus the relics. And, uh, I, you know, I had a TC over here. But in the, uh, you know, single player version, it's like you have more gold available to you. It's kind of strange. It's like a lot of gold. And of course the enemies are just just very active in, uh, you know, trying to kill you and whatnot. But other than that, things are pretty similar. Your enemies train the same kinds of units. Their bases, I think, are exactly the same. They're more active on water in the single player version, at least uh, as much as I understand. Although we can see actually right here uh, what I was saying earlier, that there are only two docks normally for Jayavira Varman's army. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And indeed, that will be Quelling the Rebellion. So definitely hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Debbie's channel. It will be in the description. And I will see you all next time.